Hey, Joe from Coding Blocks here. We recently talked about the interface segregation principle on the show, and while I was working on a little toy project of mine, I ended up running into a case where applying the lessons of that uh, principle would help me clean up my code, and so I thought it might be cool to show kind of a real-world uh, example of putting that guy into practice. So if we do a little analyze with end depend, which is a tool I've been using for static analysis and a few other things, um, been using that to kind of track my progress over time and make sure that as I add code, my uh, debt doesn't get out of control. And basically that I keep the, the quality high-ish. As you can see, I've got a C right now. So I'm working on getting there. And it's actually got me uh, estimated about three hours to get that to a B. So um, see, it's got me at uh, a day and seven hours to get that all the way. And uh, I'm not about to put that amount of time in uh, to clean up right now. So just trying to adhere to the Boy Scout rule and cleaning up a little bit as I go along. Uh, anyway, um, let's take a look at these critical rule violations. And got some good feedback on uh, my Game of Life video about the screen being hard to read. So I'll do some zooming here. Thanks for the feedback. And please, if you have any more feedback, leave a comment down below. Uh, anyway. Um, we can actually see here that most of my critical problems are actually uh, one type of issue, which is mutually dependent namespaces. So if we double click on that, it's going to show me all the spots in my code where uh, I'm doing that. And what, what it means is basically I've got namespace A that depends on namespace B and namespace B that depends on namespace A. And it's just an example of speedy code. I want to have a nice, clean hierarchy in my namespaces as my project branches out so that there's no weird coupling issues as I try to reuse bits of my library in, um, in good ways. And independent has a great write-up on what this means and why it's a problem and what you can do about it. And we'll have some links down in the description of this video, so you should check that out. But uh, right now I actually wanted to look at one particular example here because it was an example where I was depending on too much. And if I had been adhering to the interface segregation principle and only depending upon the items that I need, then this wouldn't have been a problem. So let's take a look at this class. So this is my, I've been calling it my Pathbinder. It's actually a class that just wraps the A star navigator library, which is what I'm using to um, tell my bad guys how to get to my good guys in the shortest amount of steps. And uh, it's a nice library up on NuGet. And so you should check that out. But if we look at my code here, I am taking in my dungeon master, which is the guy, kind of the guy that I use to um, manage the bad guys. And I'm passing that to an adapter, which is just a traditional adapter pattern that I use to adapt um, my map to the type of map that A star navigator depends on. Um, so nothing too fancy going on there. But I'm wondering why or I'm severely doubting why my Pathfinder game map adapter needs to have full access to everything that my dungeon master can do, which is all sorts of nasty stuff. So if we go into this, all right, and do a little control F here, we can see it's only used in one method. So uh, the cleanup's going to be easy. And it's only using one method of this Dungeon Master. So let's go look at this Dungeon Master. It's doing all sorts of stuff. It's moving guys around. It's keeping track of some things. Um, it's right for cleanup. And it's probably a big source of, well, in fact, I know it's a big source of um, cleanup that I'm going to need to do. Um, my whole project's only 500 lines, and 140 of them is here. So that should tell you something. But uh, I, all I am doing here is looking at the is blocked method. It takes an X and a Y, and actually it's only just passing that to the map. So I don't even need to pass my dungeon master. I could just pa pass my uh, map and check block movement. But in the interest of showing uh, the inter interface segregation principle, what I'm going to do instead is actually just declare a new interface called something um, map uh, i tile block 
I don't know. Um, help me out with a name here. Leave something in the description or let me know if you want to contribute and I will gladly add you to the repo and you can help me out. And uh, I tile blocked or whatever horrible name I'm, I came up with. Um, let's make that internal. It's going to define that method. And this interface defines a contract now that I know my dungeon master meets. And I know this will need to get cleaned up at some point, but I'll save that for another time, maybe another video. And over here, my Pathfinder now, it doesn't need to take in a Dungeon Master. It can just take in an I tile blocked. And um, DM is a terrible name, board's a terrible name. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> blocked determiner, blocked knower. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to call it map and keep things simple. I'm going to change this name to map as well. All right. And over in my adapter now, I am going to change this dungeon master to an I tile blocked, which is in my namespace and change the name to map. So if I've got a map and that map is blocked and there we go. So now if we rebuild, my code hasn't changed. All I've done is just change the way I note my dependencies. And if we go over here, you can see I've got debt of 12.1 now and we've got five times five methods over here. I'm going to analyze again look at my dashboard and we are at 11.5 and we've got seven types, uh, three types and four methods. So um, things have gotten a little bit better. I've got some more places to clean up. Basically if you adhere to the rules of solid as close as you can then you're not going to even get into these messes in the first place. And if I'd kept that in mind from the get-go then I wouldn't have one day and seven hours worth of stuff to clean up. So anyway uh, let me know if you have anything to say about this video or if you thought it was interesting, or if you want to, uh, I don't know, say anything else, just let me know. All right, see ya.